again and welcome back to my holiday series. Uh, today is Arbor Day and tell us story day. So um, the first part, Arbor Day, obviously trees, uh, go out, plant a tree, uh, be cool like that. <laughs> um, it's not quite a tree, but I did receive this lovely bouquet. Well, actually, it's not a bouquet. It is a potted plant. Uh, mums. Um, for Professional Administrative Day. Apparently, they count it, like, as a whole week thing or whatever, but I don't know. Um, they also got us, uh, or, well, uh, the organization, whatever, got us, uh, popcorn, milk duds, and a, uh, gift card for movie theater. Which probably has like five bucks on it. Not even enough for a movie. Which I am going to use it tonight for Infinity Wars. Can't wait. Anywho, back to today though. Um, Arbor Day. So planting trees. Um, huge deal. We need trees. We cut way too many down um, and don't replant enough. So even if you plant one tree, it would help out immensely. Okay. Um, yeah. So the other part of the day, <laughs> tell a story day. Um, I printed this off, but, uh, it is a story that is from the anime fruits basket. Yes. I like anime. Uh, well, some don't get me started on the ridiculousness of a lot of them. Uh, but I do love fruits basket. It's adorable. And whatnot. So this is, and, and I had, I got the idea to tell this story because when I made my little calendar thing, uh, April fool's day. So, uh, this is on my calendar also, uh, and it's called the most foolish traveler. So I'm going to read this. And again, um, I am not the best at reading out loud. I can read. I know how to read. I suck at reading out loud. Okay. <clears throat> Once upon a time, there was a foolish traveler who had gone on a journey. Why was he foolish? Well, because he was fooled by everyone he met. Please, some money for medicine. Everywhere he went, people made up all kinds of sad stories to tell him, and the traveler fell for every one of them. I have a sick younger sister. I don't have any money to buy seeds, to buy seeds to plant in my fields. Pretty soon, his money, his clothes, even his shoes had been cheated away from him. But the foolish traveler was always glad to help. And he was always told, and he always told people the same thing. He said, I wish you happiness. But by this point, though, the traveler was completely naked and with nothing left to cover himself. He decided to leave the main road and travel through the dense forest where no one could see him. But soon... He was discovered by the goblins that lived in the woods. The goblins wanted to eat the traveler's body, so they begged and pleaded and used kind words to trick him. Of course, the traveler was fooled. First, he let the goblins eat one of his legs, then an arm, then more and more. Before it was over, all that the traveler had left was his head. He'd even given his eyes away to the last of the goblins. And that last goblin was eating the traveler's eyes. And as the last goblin was eating his, the traveler's eyes, he turned and said, Thank you. In return, I leave you this present. What the goblin left was a slip of paper with the word fool written on it. The traveler couldn't see it. He didn't know what it was. Even so, tears began to flow down his face. Thank you, he said. This is the first present anyone ever gave to me. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Thank you. Even without his eyes, he cried and cried great tears of joy. Then the traveler died, the smile still on his face. That's it. Um, short little story. Uh, that I liked uh, quite a lot, actually, really, on when it was on Fruits Basket. 
uh, because basically, Toru, main character, is very giving, um, and sometimes the, the others around or whatever are like, oh, maybe you shouldn't, like, give everything, you know? Um, so that's why Momiji then comes back and tells the story. Um, was he really foolish? Was he doing what he wanted? Was he, you know, fulfilling his own desires to help people, uh, that much that he would, you know, give up his body and his eyes, uh, to be eaten? Eh, that's, that's the moral of the story, I guess, you know? Uh, die, you could die happy knowing, like, how am I trying to say this? <laughs> Uh, you could die happy if you have done all that you wanted to do. And all that he wanted to do, the Foolish Traveler, was help people. So, he fed a couple goblins and helped them. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, so, um, everybody, go out and plant a tree. And while you're doing it, tell a story. Okay, bye. I'll have a different story to tell, and that'll be about the Infinity Wars. Oh, spoilers!